Hello and welcome to World Watch on Oreleko TV. I am Michael Ekene. Authoritarian leader Nicolas Maduro has decreed Christmas will start next month in Venezuela, even as thousands of Venezuelans look set to pass the holiday behind bars amid his government crackdown on political unrest. Maduro's decree, not the first of its kind, but the earliest, comes as Venezuela grapples with the fallout from July's presidential election, which saw Maduro claim a third term despite global skepticism and outcry from the country's opposition movements. A group of seven Republican-led states filed a fresh lawsuit Tuesday seeking to block new student loan forgiveness plans that the Biden administration is expected to start rolling out this fall. The lawsuit marks yet another legal challenge to President Joe Biden's student loan policies and could potentially tie up his latest effort to deliver debt relief before the November election. Prime Minister Narendra Modi held bilateral talks with Sultan of Brunei Hazana Bokia today at the Istana Nuru Imam, the latter's official residence in capital Bandar Seri Begawan on the second day of his visit to the Southeast Asian nation. In a tweet, the Prime Minister said the talks were wide-ranging and included ways to further cement bilateral ties between our nations. The head of the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, said on Tuesday that the agency will step up assistance to Ukraine to protect the country's energy infrastructure, which is vital to the safety of its nuclear power plant, NPPS. IAEA Director General Rafael Grossi announced that the moves in a statement after meeting with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kiev earlier in the day. The move followed a number of missile attacks that have either directly caused the disconnection of several nuclear power reactors or led to dangerous instability of the nation agreed, according to the statement. Let's take a short break to the come as stories on entertainment and sports. Follow us on our social media handles at Obeleke TV. Visit our website at www.obeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Obeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back. Justin Terose opened up still feeling protective over ex-wife Jennifer Aniston who he split with in 2017, one week after announcing his engagement to actress Nicole Bryden Bloom. The Leftovers actor revealed that he and ex-wife Jennifer Aniston are still close seven years after that 2017 split. Frances Teofi set up a U.S. Open semi-final against Taylor Fritz to guarantee there will be an American man in the singles final in New York for the first time in 18 years. The ever-entertaining Teofi advanced when opponent degree God Dimitrov was forced to retire injured. Teofi led Dimitrov 5-7 when the Bulgarian hampered by an apparent hamstring injury ended the match. That's all we have for you on World Watch on Oweleka TV. I am Michael Ekene.